Hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is David. Today we'll see how to texture a car in 3D Max 2018 using Arnold as the renderer. For this we'll be needing few set of files, links to the download are in the description. The first way is the most quick and easy way, open the material library URL from the description, skip the add and download the file. After downloading you can extract the file to the desired location. In 3D Max hit the render option and select render setup. In which you will see the renderer tab, select Arnold and close the render setup window. Click on the material editor icon or press M on your keyboard. Once you open the material editor, choose modes, compact material editor, materials, get material, you will see a arrow click on it and select new material library. You can then navigate to the path where you saved your extracted library. You can then save the library so that you can use the presets in your further projects. I have already saved the library so I won't be saving it again. Now let's start our project, as you can see I have created a simple studio environment with my car, few lights and a backdrop. You can download the studio environment from the description given below. If you want to see your active shade window in your viewport then click on perspective or camera which is next to the plus sign in the viewport option then select extend viewports. And then select active shade. Or press shift Q if you are using my studio. If not then press the F10 and then under target select active shade mode, and press render. In the render setup if you select the Arnold renderer tab, you will see some set of parameters, in that camera A acts as multiplier to the rest of the values below. The higher the value the better the output, but for the sake of this tutorial I am going to keep the values less. Once your scene is ready open the material editor and select the two car paint shader from the M to a material library and double click it, then assign the shader to car body. As you can see the preset looks quite realistic, you can keep the defaults or adjust it as you want. Now we will give it a production render test, for that press F10 and change the target, from active shade mode to production mode. Once you are done with the production render you can switch the target back to active shade. So this is how it look. Now we will see another preset from the library named Car Paint, apply the shader to the car body. If you want to change the color of the car then select the base color palette and choose your favorite color.
Now we will give it a production render test and see how it looks. This is my self-made shader, if you like the effect then you can pause the video and note down the given values. Thank you for watching my channel, do show your support by clicking the subscribe link and turning the notification on. We're about to turn it on.